Welcome to your low impact cardio 10 minute workout. We're going to have a really quick warm up that's going to show you how to do all the exercises. We're going to get started right away. Big inhale, exhale, let it go. Two more times. Big inhale, exhale, let it go. If you're in running shoes, that's totally okay. You can be bare feet too. Big inhale, and exhale, let it go. So our first one's a high mark, so our arms are starting up. And then we're going to bring them down to meet our knee. So let's do a few of these just to practice the movement. Think about engaging the abs as we jump them together. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, one. Our next move is step back, tap the toe, and we'll reach those arms forward. Just tap and reach. Just four more. Four, three, Two, let me sideways so you can see my alignment. One, straight kicks. So we're reaching our opposite arm to the foot with a bit of a twist. So I'm just not straight with my arm, and I'm coming across. So I can feel those obliques. Last two, last one. Open up the arms, kick your butt. Use your butt kicks. Squeezing through the shoulder blades of these. Turn to the side. I'll show you how to get a little bit more out of each exercise. Last two, last one. Hands up to the ears, elbows wide. We're gonna come across. So the elbow comes across to that knee, and we engage and use much rotation. So we don't do this with the arm. The rotation comes through the body. Our arms stay wide. Okay, your elbow does not have to touch the knee. One more deep breath, and then we're gonna start. Big inhale, exhale, arms down. Here we go. Elbow comes down to the knee, and we contract those abs. So I'm going to start to pick up my speed, because I want my heart rate elevated here. So I'm going to be working a little bit faster, but I want you to find a pace that works for you. So we're all going to be at different paces. Think about what's happening in the abs. So really squeeze that space right below the belly button and above that pubic bone. Bring it nice and tight. And then just keep pumping those arms up and down. You might even feel the shoulders with this if you're going faster. Just five more seconds. Three, two, one. Big inhale. And then exhale, let it go. So we have 15 seconds in between each exercise. If you don't want that break, keep doing the previous exercise. So I'm just going to turn sideways for the step back so you can see my alignment. Again, tap and reach. So I'm going to get a little bit deeper into the legs because I'm going to get more out of this. And then look at how much I'm pumping my arms and with force. So I have a big, strong pump. My thumbs are facing up to the ceiling and my palms are in. If you look at my back, it's straight. So I'm not hunching over like this. And you can pinch yourself if you're hunching. So strong, long spine. And then again, engage the core here. Focus on the breathing. We have 15 seconds. Now if it's too hard for you to be that low, pick it up higher. And again, you choose your pace. When the timer goes, if you don't want that break, just keep going with this exercise. And you're going to take a deep breath. Coming into the straight kicks. So I'm going to be reaching from one side to the next. The bigger the arms are, the more you get. Okay, or you can just choose to reach. Now you don't have to kick up to hip height. If you have tight hamstrings, you're gonna end up really curving the back. Okay, so you can keep it low. My hamstrings are pretty good, so I can get a little bit more power through mine. I'm not flicking the knee. The movement's coming from my hip. So use those hip flexors and abs. Big arm swings here. Under 20 seconds to go. So the abs should be firing up with this. So lots of rotation. I'll come forward again so you can see how much rotation I'm getting. So my shoulders coming across my body. Big inhale. Again, if you don't want that break, keep working. The next one's coming into those butt kicks. A little bit wider with the legs. And try and get those heels as far back as we can. Okay, here we go. So, this one, focus on squeezing through the shoulder blades. 
Each time you pump those arms back, thumbs are up. Okay, our thumbs are facing to the sky or to the ceiling. Now I'm gonna go and add a bounce. Oh my gosh, that's screaming out. Here we go. So this bounce is almost like doing a little mini squat. It's optional. You can just stay upright. So if you can throw your coordination off, like it just did for me. Shoulder the right squeeze. I'm just going to show you from the side what this looks like. So again, my spine is long. And those arms are opening. You might get a little bit of a stretch. And to the front of the shoulder. Okay, inhale. And exhale. So I definitely feel my heart rate has come up. I'm hoping that you're feeling yours as well. Your fingertips by the ears. This is our twist. Remember that the twist is coming through rotation and not movement of just bringing that elbow forward. Every time we twist, core contraction. So it's basically a high march. Like our very first exercise that we did. Put the seat of the arms going up and down. We're just adding rotation. That is the only difference here. So this whole routine is a bit of an ab workout. All right, 10 more seconds and we're done one sequence, and then we're gonna repeat the whole thing. Okay, no breaks, unless you need them. Okay, so if you need a break right now, just pause this for a moment and grab yourself a drink of water. If you don't need that break, we're gonna go into round two right away. Big inhale, exhale, let it go. Now we're going to that high mark, so arms are up, and then we bring it down. Okay, we drive those elbows to the knee. I want you to feel like you're doing a little mini crunch. So my spine is long when I extend, but then I bring my chest forward as my elbows come down. So lots of core here. Now, pump those arms. You just keep them kind of here. It's easier. So pump them up. You're gonna feel the shoulders. Make sure you're lengthening your back each time. Three, two, one. Inhale. Oh. Okay, four more left. I'm gonna turn sideways for our step backs. So again, I'm not actually stepping onto that foot. It's a tap, so it's weightless. Arms are up. Here we go. So, okay, here you come. The more you're gonna feel, I'll see if you can get a little bit lower in those legs. Do not compromise your back. If you get lower and you round the back, you're gonna hurt yourself. Okay, straight spine. Focusing on your breathing. See if you can get through this 45 seconds without changing the pace. You want to get that heart rate up and calorie burn through low impact. You've got to work for it. Your effort makes a big difference. All right. Two down. Uh, three to go. Straight kicks. And remember, if your hamstrings are tight and you're doing this, like that low back round, don't take your legs this high. So if you can only go that high without rounding the back, then that's what you need for. Okay, it's really important to not compromise our bodies just to try and uh, get more of the exercise or go further than what we're capable of doing. We want to make sure that we're preventing injuries. We're going to strive for progression always. And the more you do things, the better you get at it. Right? That's what the whole concept of this 30 days is all about. We're striving for progressions, small changes. Okay, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. So, last two. Back to those butt kicks. Hopefully I can get my coordination when I am in that bounce. Okay, so our thumbs are up, keep your butt, open those arms, and then 
on a little bit more by squeezing through those shoulders. Okay, the back of the shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna add that bounce now. I got it this time. Bounce is optional. Keeping the hips back. That's the other thing, my hips are back. I'm not forward with the hips. So those hips need to shoot behind you to keep that line in for this one. Under 15 seconds. We're almost there. You guys have almost made it through. Great job. Let's go. Finish strong to the end. For three, two, one. One more exercise. Oh, it feels so good to take those breaths. Okay, so our last one is that ab twist. So again, it's rotation, not movement through the shoulder. Here we go. Rotate, rotate. Your abs should feel tired with this one. Okay, we've got 30 seconds left of work. A really quick stretch, and then you can be on your day and be proud of what you accomplished. And that's your 10 minute workout, which is gonna energize you for your day. You're gonna feel so good after this. We got 10 seconds left. Let's work it. Squeeze your abs to finish. Three, two, one. Good inhale. And let it go. All right, we're gonna get those shoulders a stretch because we worked those and all of the exercises. So you can just take them, interlace them, and bring them back. Now if you can't reach your fingers, just hold the hands back like this. Get those arms a stretch. We work a lot of core. So let's stretch out the side, reach your hand, and push to make a long side bend. Good, other side. Reach. You should feel really good. Okay, we're gonna turn, half stretch. Just push that heel down and then lean forward. And then change it to hip flexor stretch, lift the calf, and then just tuck your butt under and reach that arm up. You should feel right through here. Squeeze your glute. That'll help stretch this. And other side. Push the heel down. Completed. Come forward. Last 20 seconds. And then lift the heel. Tuck under. Squeeze your butt. And reach. And come forward. One big inhale. Let it go. And have yourself a great day. Thank you so much for joining today.